One of the miracles of Imam Hassan al-Askari salam, the 11th Imam, was that during the time uh, that he was in prison, he was handed over to a guard named Nahir. And he was really hard on him and he did a lot of harm to the Imam and he oppressed the Imam a lot. He was known for his oppression. That's why they gave the Imam to him because he was very severe and hard-hearted. So a woman said to Nahir or the, the guard that was in charge, Fear Allah, do you not know who you have in your house? Do you not know who this man is? You should fear Allah because the position of this man and he is close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the woman told him this and she told him about Imam Hassan al-Askari's righteousness and his devotion and his prayer. And he said, I, she told him, I fear, uh, for, I fear for you as a result of him, how, are you, how you're handling him. I feel uh, a fear inside of me that something bad is going to happen to you because you're oppressing this righteous man and this devoted servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So she's telling him he needs to leave him alone and back off of him. So this man was very arrogant and he was very uh, rude and uh, oppressor and things like this. So he said, by Allah, I'll throw him to the wild animals, the wild beast. He didn't want to hear anything. It's like, you're trying to tell me what to do, and I run this thing, and I'll oppress whoever I want to oppress, and I'll be harsh to who I want to be harsh. I'm not going to let up on him just because you want me to. And matter of fact, I'll throw this person to the animals. So, he said, he asked permission to do this from the governor, and it was granted to him. So he threw the he threw the imam to the animals, and the the authorities they weren't disturbed at all by the wild animals eating him. They didn't care, so they just threw him to the animals. So they looked at the place later on to find out the situation about the imam. They came back and checked on the imam to see. Uh, how Imam Hassan al-Askari was doing and if the animals had already eaten him or whatever was the situation with him but to their surprise what they came back and found was they found that Imam Hassan al-Askari was standing making salat and all the wild animals were around him quietly they were in submission and they did they did not attack the Imam, they did not harm the Imam, they were all standing around the Imam while he was making Salah. And then after this, this guard, he didn't know what to do and he just ordered the Imam to be taken back to the house. And uh, he, he left him after that, he knew that this man was something special because anybody else they would have thrown in there, the wild animals would have eaten him. And if uh, we look back on the one of the miracles of Imam Qadim alayhi salam. The lion told the Imam that your descendants will not be bothered by wild beasts and they will not be attacked and they will not be eaten by wild beasts. And we see that because the Imam is the Imam of all of creation, of mankind, of jinn, and of animals. So the Imam, he is the Imam of the animals too. These animals take them as their Imam. So Imam Hassan al-Askari, they came around him and they, they were quiet around him, being respectful to him and they did not disturb him and, they allowed, and he was making salat in this cage with all of these wild animals. And this is just one of the many miracles from Imam Hassan al-Askari salam. And this can be found in Kitab al-Arshad on page 522 by Sheikh al-Mufid.